This video is part of a continuing series to show you how to use the Lightorama Show Editor to build a show. And uh, the reason why it's a series of videos is because there are a lot of different options in the Show Editor and a lot of different ways in which you can make shows behave. So each video is going to build on the last one a little bit more to add another feature to the show that we've been building. So let's open up the the show that we built in previous videos. Here it is. And um, if you'll remember, we have in this show sequences in the animation section and sequences in the musical section. Now, I said in previous videos that um, the animation and the musical sections will start up immediately when your show starts up, and they'll stop when your show ends. And that was kind of true, but it's not totally true. It's true for this show as I've built it, but it's not true in general, and you'll see why in this video. In this video, we're going to discuss the startup and shutdown sections of the show. And you'll see I don't have any sequences in either of these sections right now. Uh, so they don't; those sections don't do anything in this show. And that's why what I said before works for this show. When it starts up, the animation and musical sections start up immediately because there's nothing in the startup section. And when the show ends, the last song that happens to be playing is allowed to finish, and then the show ends, because there's nothing in the shutdown section. But the startup and the shutdown section can be used to have uh, sequences that play at, at the beginning of the show, and only after uh, the, all of the sequences in the startup section are finished do the animation and musical sections actually finish, uh, or actually begin, excuse me. Similarly, at the end of the show, when the scheduled end of the show is reached, the last song that happens to be playing, whatever it is, in the musical section will be allowed to finish, and after it finishes, the musical and animation sections will stop, and then the sequences in the shutdown section will begin. Since I don't have anything in the startup or shutdown sections, the animation and musical sections will play for my whole sequence. Uh, excuse me, my whole show. But let's put a sequence into the startup section. So we'll add a sequence. Let's say, uh, Thus Spake Zarathustra. We'll add that in there. And uh, that's the famous song. It's uh, prominently featured in 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's a good, uh, uh, a good, good song that starts things up. So that's good to put in our startup section of our show. So when, now when the show begins, Thus Spake Zarathustra will play, and only after Thus Spake Zarathustra ends will the animation and musical sections begin. Now I could put another sequence into the startup section. In fact, I could put a bunch of sequences in, but let's just put one more in for now. Let's say this checkerboard one. And now when the show begins, it'll play Thus Spake Zarathustra. When that ends, checkerboard will begin. When that ends, the animation and musical sections will begin. But let's say that I really just want Thus Spake Zarathustra. I don't want Checkerboard. That was just to give you an idea that you can have more than one. But for now, I, I don't really want Checkerboard. So I'll click on it and click the minus button. And that removes Checkerboard from the startup section of the show. Now, similarly, um, when the show reaches its scheduled end, uh, Earlier I said that the, the sequence that's currently playing in the musical section will be allowed to finish, and then the show will end. But really what happens is that sequence is allowed to finish, and then the shutdown section starts. So if I add a sequence to here, let's say thanks, this will play after the animation and musical sections end. And this could be, you know, a little sequence where you have a voiceover saying, hey, everybody, thanks for coming to see the show. And Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and so forth. And um, now let's save our show, now that we've made changes, and just review one last time what will happen when the show plays. When it starts up, the startup section begins. 
and it plays through the songs in the startup section one at a time. In this case, we only have one sequence, so it'll play this sequence. After this sequence begins, the animation and musical sections both start, and eventually uh, we reach the scheduled end of the show, at which point the final sequence that happens to be playing from the musical section will be allowed to end. When that ends, whatever's playing in the animation section also ends. And after these sections stop, then the shutdown section begins. In this case, we have one song or one sequence in the shutdown section, so it will play. And when it finishes, that's when the show is really over. So I think that's it for this video. I hope this helps.